Hey everyone, it's Nate with Doctors of Running, and I wanted to jump on with a quick sub two, talking about a shoe that last year did not work for me. We just got the update. I took it out on my first run just now, and they made some very substantial changes that brings it into the category of a shoe that I'm ready to put a lot more miles in, because last iteration, I couldn't just with the shaping and the geometry. And that is the Asics Cumulus 26. Um, in the 25, I've got it here. In the 25, they actually overhauled this shoe a ton, which is why I was really surprised when they did another kind of major overhaul for the for version 26. What didn't work for me in version 25 was ultimately the amount of sole flaring that there was in the back of the heel. So, you know, there's a lot of shoes with a very large width, especially as we're getting a lot of stack height. But the way that it was done in the Cumulus had a very stark you can kind of see it from with this this uh, angle here, a stark uh, outcropping that gave a posterior lateral flare on this side as well, so that when you would land, it would be early contact, and that just puts a lot of demand on the tibialis anterior, especially if you're landing posterior lateral like most runners do, and that just ended up causing a lot of irritation to the extrinsic muscles of the foot. So this was a shoe that I liked the direction they were going in concept, but in practice, they just widen this heel too much. And that was, and, and they also have this posterior flare that didn't have enough of a bevel. And so with all of those components, I couldn't run in it. So I figured they wouldn't overhaul again, but hopefully maybe two down the line, we'd see some major changes. But it's almost like they course corrected in a major way with the 26. I'm gonna get a lot more miles on this knowing that it works for me, um, at least at first glance. But they really slimmed down the heel. They got rid of a lot of that flaring, which can lead to that early contact and increased moment arm and demand on the extrinsic muscles. Um, so that's a huge change that they come into with this shoe. And you can even just see, if we line these up, you should be able to see that the, the amount of uh, heel flare that posts out from the 25 far exceeds that that's in the 26. And they also got rid of a uh, complete rubber outsole. So now it's, it looks like a rubberized DVA. We'll see how that holds up over time. Um, I'm here in the winter months and it, thankfully it's, you know, 35 this week. So we got a little bit of road instead of just ice cover. So I did take this out, but we'll see how it hangs up from a durability perspective and with grip as I get more miles on it.